Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Hello, ladies. No, call. Do a big buzzing one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode forty-six of the Lord of Match Show. Let's go. But I'm actually upset because guess what's happening March first? There's a protest for what? Anti Matt Mosley. <laughs> You leading it? <laughs> yeah, it's just me. <laughs> and Guion takes a day off work. <laughs> a no. rarity. <laughs> it's it's a big one. Yep. Everyone in the UK will it will, it'll be like it'll be like nine eleven. You know exactly where you were. Okay. I swear if this isn't something major. It is major. Okay. I will take back it, it, isn't, <laughs> it isn't as big as nine eleven. Yeah. But it'll be one of those defining moments. Like you're ripping the UK in half. Are they getting rid of TV licenses? Nearly. Are they? You, you're, they're getting rid of something. Something huge is going in the UK and you walk down the street and you'll go, you'll feel its presence not there and you won't feel as warm. <laughs> <laughs> the body shop. The bunny shop. Body shop. Oh, <laughs> the bunny shop. Bring me the bunny the shop. Hugh Hefner. Nah, Nick, some way bigger. What? <laughs> no, that goes spit on. everywhere. No. <laughs> Something bigger than the body shop is going. Something, one of the biggest high street shops. Argos. Bigger than Argos. I actually might think it could be the biggest. Bigger than any supermarket? No, that's a supermarket. Retail. Okay. Um, March 1st. Shall I tell you? River Island. Bigger than River Island. Oh, I was being sarcastic, but okay. Wait, is River Island already gone? Yeah, I think so. They're just on ASOS, aren't they? No, that's Top Man. Uh, just enjoyed the both of them yeah. <laughs> biggest retail shop in England is going yes and one of the shops I'll give you another hint one of the shops in Birmingham is the biggest retail shop in Europe Ooh. don't fact check me on that please don't fact check me on that I don't that. know we've already lost Toys R Us yes I, I actually could th- fear that it could be bigger than Toys R Us we lost Woolworths a while back way bigger than Woolworths What's the one that recently shut down? And they had a round of applause outside the shop for it? Oh, uh, Eggs Benedict and Delight Co. <laughs> Where did you plug those <laughs> words from? No, what was it that shut down? And there was a TikTok of like all, all the locals clapping this, like the last one of them to shut down. Yeah. Oh, what was that? It was like a red logo, I think. But it is sad when High Street. Fuck the High Street. Oh, that is disgusting, Lloyd. Get it all online. Lloyd's Get it all online. Corporatists. No, I do wish high streets were more fun. Yeah, high streets now are dying. Do you want to know what high it, street is wanna, rubbish? Yeah, and that is... See, that is the bad side of capitalism. Yeah. Because look, when everything's faster, better, stronger, like you will get, you will lose physical presence. Let's say, right. <clears throat> do you want to know what it was first? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> Primark. No way Primark's shutting down. 1st of March, Primark's gone for good. For good. Every single Primark is shutting down. They're going online? Yeah, I think they're moving to like an, an ASOS boohoo type of beat. But pr- surely Primark's profitable. Tell that to the starving kids making their clothes. Yeah, true. Because I know the conditions of Primark, the factory workers were like some of the absolute worst in the world. And that's how they were able to charge so little. I swear people from our school used to steal in Primark as well. Did they? Yeah, I remember being like, like because I was part of the gullies. I was part of the girl group. I was waiting for those sleepovers in the year. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was the gay one. <laughs> no, but I remember some of the girls being like, yeah, we steal from Primark. And I'd be like, why? It's so cheap. And, but there was a time where it was cheap and then it all of a sudden like, rivaled like top man and that I saw a video the other day it's this guy who just talks about businesses I can't remember his name quite quite a bigger fella and he was talking about how if something isn't selling yeah. you up the price yes yes. I know who that is that is uh, Tony Robbins no it wasn't Tony okay. Robbins yeah like uh, KFC I told this to my mum the other day because my mum's uh, selling started, that's the video I saw my mum started selling um, OnlyFans and I said <laughs> <laughs> no, my mum. Supply mom, and demand. My, no, my mum's selling. My mum's making handbags, and she's been doing it for like three years. Yeah. And she goes to like craft shows and makes loads of money from it. But she says like she wants to do it without craft shows. Like she wants to sell online and stuff, but she doesn't know. But like the quality of her bags are so good. So why don't you promote them? <clears throat> wow, guys! <laughs> Today's what's no. Make her a website with fucking Shopify. Yeah. And promote them on your Instagram. 
Yeah, I would to be fair. I think people would buy them if you say, my mum makes these bags. Yeah. And it's like really handmade. But the thing is, bless her little heart, like it genuinely takes her a long time and she sells it for so cheap. And I told her the story about KFC being like, you've just got to put chicken in the bag and people will buy your bags if there's chicken in there. <laughs> you weren't listening. No, you were that's not, not where I thought you would go with it. I was like, you need to up your price. Yeah. And people will buy it. Yeah. No, who wants cheap chicken? Exactly. If chicken's two pounds, you know it's going to be shit. If yeah. chicken's eight pounds, you trust it more. And I said like a handbag for a woman is al- almost a representation of the woman itself and the whole style. Like it's so important to it have. It goes with their outfits. That's why women can spend thousands of pounds on a handbag because it's like it's them. Yeah. Not all of them do that. Yeah. Not all of them. But then again, <laughs> I was like, you got up the price. No mm. one wants a cheap bag. No one wants a cheap bag. No. How much do you charge at the moment? It's, it's like 20 pounds. And how many hours do you think it takes to do one bag? A lot. So is she wor- is she essentially a Primark worker? <laughs> <laughs> if she's charging yeah, she's so little for so much time. <laughs> but yeah, she needs to she needs to figure it out because she does it when she's not working. What are they like? Tote bags? Yeah, pretty much like tote bags. But she does anything: tote bags, plastic bag holders, like neat. Like uh, she does anything. If you wanted anything made, she'd make it. She made these. No, she didn't. She stitched up the hole in your ass, though. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she stitched my ass while she was at it. <laughs> yeah, the hole in your ass. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Oh, God. What did you do Thursday? <laughs> Such a bad segment. The same as last week. Well, first, I was going to ask you when I was going to interrupt and before you told me which shop was shutting down, which yeah. I still am not sure that Primark is shutting down. I can fact check it if now. That's fucking want. crazy. Yeah, do it. Okay. I was going to say... Would you rather, because you were like capitalism, da da da. Yeah. Like, would you rather that all the money everyone earns is put into a pot and divided by each human being that's in England or so, the UK? Sorry, Primark isn't shut down. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. It was a huge hoax. Apparently, it's like I that. knew you'd been done. That's why I said fact check it. <laughs> No, that's fucking crazy. I, I fact check everything, by the way, guys. If someone says something, I'll always jump on my phone and just check it. The thing is, I have seen so many articles about this. And apparently... And they're all fake. And it's, the thing is, though, it's only come out within the last hour. Like, all these newspapers, articles, are from an hour ago saying it's a hoax. <laughs> they're opening up five new stores. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone the other way. I knew how Primark makes so much money. Yeah, look at this. This was yesterday. So the Sun did a post an hour ago saying it's a hoax. Yeah. Yesterday, they said a high street brand chain with over 500 branches to shut down next month. And it's Primark. All of them are all Primark shutting down 2024. Primark closes as UK high street shuts down. But an hour ago, if we filmed this an hour before. (laughs) You'd have been done. That would have been facts. But yeah, Primark's, yeah, keep up the children in pain. Yeah, pay them more. Yeah. I was going to say, if if all the money everyone earned in the UK was put into a pot yeah. and then divided by each human being that's alive every year yeah. and that was your salary, would you rather that or would you... So if you're like an actor yeah. and you make 20 mil for the year, starring in four films, you'd have to put that into the pot and then, divi- and then everyone else's salaries are put in the pot and then it's divided between everyone. Isn't that just like socialism? Yeah. Or communism? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying, because you said about capitalism earlier. Would you rather that or would you rather you make whatever job you get? I still think I would rather. Just say it. You should make what job you do. Yeah. Doctors would like doctors just because like an actor gets 20 mil. Everyone's like, oh, they don't deserve it. Like that's too much money. Tax them. Take it all away. Give it to someone else. Yeah. Which I get. But then if you do that philosophy and you do it with doctors who are on 200k a year. Doctors deserve 200k a year, whatever they're on, less, probably. Yeah. No, I think there's some doctors... Uh... But they always strike. Junior doctors aren't on oh, budget yeah. or enough. Yeah. But if you just take that money from a doctor and put it into a pot and then give it to someone else, <coughs> I don't think that works. Do you know why it doesn't work? Why? Because if a brain surgeon is getting paid the exact same... As a retail As worker. someone working in a cafe, that's not... I'm not saying working in a cafe is bad. I'm just saying... A brain surgeon is significantly harder. Yeah, that's, than you, don't need to, you don't need to point that out. That's not offending anyone know, by saying that retail is much easier than being a brain surgeon. <laughs> you don't require eight years of training to work in retail. Yeah, and then it, and then what will happen is 
uh, no one will be brain surgeons because no. they'll be like, oh, I can just make the same money. And then no one does the top jobs. It's already dying out anyway. What, brain surgery? <laughs> <laughs> well, just like not as many people are becoming doctors and da, 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 da. Yeah, because in this country, the NHS, I feel so bad for, like genuinely feel so bad for like all the nurses and stuff because the NHS has just run so badly. Yeah. And I don't, I actually, I mean like, I'm just a kid with a dream at the end of the day. <laughs> like I don't know how to fix that. But if you, ha let's say, but, would you ever go into politics in any way? Okay, so let's say like- You, you know what, I actually would. Would you? So let's say you start, the pod grows. Yeah. TikTok grows, whatever. You get into presenting. Yeah. Grow as a presenter. Yeah. Come like big name, like- um, Matthew Mosley. I can see well, it. I'm trying to think of like other presenters who <laughs> are like Maya big. Mosley. <laughs> <laughs> it always comes to Ant and Deck or like, let's just say Louis Theroux, like a host. Yeah. Would you, you then have a backing. Would you then tr try and transition into politics at all? Yeah, but the thing is, I, th I think traditional TV is like, severely on the low so i think in 10 years time any social media platform if you're big you would be as big as the presenters no yes nowhere near as respected it's did you not see the video bro, it is 100 percent going to change without a shadow of doubt tv mark my words 15 years time there will be nothing on tv it'll only be live tv absolutely i i guarantee mean only you, live tv it will only be like uh world cup uh, it will only be things that are like broadcasted live rather than like Coronation Street and stuff like that. You think Coronation Street's going to be gone? Everything's going to go. I genuinely no mean this. It'll all be Coronation Street would have been, will move to Netflix and ITVX <laughs> will be the thing. Daytime you, TV won't go because yes, there'll it always will. be old people no, with nothing to do. Old people are going to die. In 20 years time, the old person will be a 50 year old. The old people would have died. The old people now who are like 80, unfortunately will be dead yeah so the people who are 60 now will be yeah, 80 they will be watching a different form of media it will be coronation street daytime tv will all be streamed on itvx and bbc iplayer i think it would take longer than that no they will i not think be all it is years. is the last generation unfortunately once they are they've gone it will be tipping point and all this and it will be so severely dead because it will be like like the presenter ben um something he'll be like oh i can just I'm, I'm now streaming on itvx rather than the traditional media and i'm not getting any views on this like since covid i really thought that the whole industry has shifted traditional media is on the down like crazy and social media is on the up i genuinely think that yeah it is on the up i don't think it'll die out though i think it will die out i think presenting well, it will only be broadcasted live and sit, and even then it will be broadcasted live on Netflix like the World Cup for example that will be Netflix owned and it will be Netflix buying them out instead of Sky and it will be Amazon you're beginning to see it on Amazon already like they've brought the Premier League some of the Premier League games yeah but that's not data like the Premier League that's isn't that's what I mean that's live TV and that's all it will be useful, used, used for no, but Sky is already like Amazon. Sky isn't just something everyone has. <coughs> so has saying Amazon is so on... Sky, for example, people will only have that for... Because it's like multiple... Like you can have Netflix cinema and stuff. and uh, not Sorry, Sky cinema and stuff. Sky sport. Sports, all that. But that's all like films or live TV. Like the traditional like deal or no deal... Uh, how big is your home or whatever? Homes under the hammer. Homes under so the hammer. So that what's going to happen to BBC and ITV then? Hopefully they go. They're all a bunch of paedophiles. All they do is protect paedophiles. The traditional media, so corrupt. No one, no, one is, no one's listening to the news anymore. News is on like the absolute down. Everyone's getting their news from their mobile phone. No, like everyone's rating f today to what it was 10 years ago, even five years ago is like crazy different i think in 15 years time you, you won't be buying tvs you won't be buying like a free view box or anything because your tv will just be a smart tv it'll just be a bigger phone to watch stuff on yeah but you're still buying a tv <laughs> yeah but i don't think it's a tv in the same way we think it is i think it's it will just be like a it'll be called a smart television which yeah. which they are already called smart TVs, <laughs> yeah. but it's like it won't be like plus free view plus sky or anything it'll just be tv youtube netflix that's all you need
Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if you wanted to watch something now on the Disney Channel and you go, oh, it's, I don't know what Disney, oh, it's Phineas and Ferb. Is that Disney? Mm, might be Nickelodeon. Okay, okay. I don't know. Nickelodeon no. probably have a channel. Uh, as well, they're bringing back um, Wizards of Waverly Place. Okay, Wizards of Waverly Place. So you, <laughs> so you go on Disney Channel, yeah. you see Wizards of Waverly Place, <laughs> and you're like, I don't want to watch that. I want to watch uh, something else Disney. <laughs> Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. People just go on Disney Plus and watch Hannah Montana. That's like, that's what's so much better about any form of social media is you're not forced to watch what's on. You can watch whatever you want to watch. Yeah. And that's why I think... So what would happen to Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway? It will be moved onto ITVX and then it will go. Plus, it's going to go anyway. When all these big presenters are gone, it will go. Genuinely. The new presenters of today don't cut... They just don't... They're not the They're not the same as old school presenters like Ant and Dex. Yeah, they're not really... I don't know there's any superstars. S- exactly. There's nothing special about them. But you, hey. can, but you can name any YouTuber. You can name multitudes of tiktokers you could change multitude because they're more respected i don't think they are more respected they're just more known <laughs> it's harder to master an old school media than it is social media anyone can do social media oh i don't know about that i should i tell you why anyone i don't know what, do should i tell you media. why i don't know about that because if you're in old school media you have one job which is presenting which is a hard job way but, harder to master than social media but if you do social media you've got to present you've got to edit you've got to market you've got to do everything which is a mo- which is different to the other one. You're, you've got to like raise the average on. But it. you don't have to. You do if you if you want to be good now on social media because social <coughs> media like has has changed itself. Like it used to be just no look, no what, editing nothing. You think that, but look at who blows up in the UK. Beta Squad. No, no, like people just love people who are different in the sense of like. <laughs> Like funny, like Paul Breach. How the hell is like? You think he's a master at fucking no editing? Because that that that's 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 different. For example, no one is gonna switch on the TV and say, "Oh, I really want to watch Paul Breach dance." Like, I'm not saying TikTok <laughs> is gonna be the <laughs> the TikTok the is gonna be the difference. I'm gonna say like all the shows are gonna be like Beta Squad, Side Men, Mr. Beast. I guess, but they will take their ideas from traditional media. Yeah. And then it would die. Tr- 15 years time. Trust me. You won't buy a TV. We don't even have a TV now. When, when have we ever watched TV other than live sports? Which is, we have never done that either. My mum still watches Cory. Yep. And that will be moved on to like streaming platform. It was, it's when the generation that don't have media, like an iPhone, so like smartphone. and yeah. It's when they go... Yeah, because you see CBBS and all that—they're gone. There's no such thing as CBBS anymore because all the kids just do it on their iPad. It is a dangerous world. Exactly, I, I, I'm telling you. And then now the AI as well. This AI—have you seen Sorrow? No. What's oh Sorrow? my god, it is absolutely bonkers. And I think it will be the end of TV, Hollywood. Could even be the end of social media. Like genuinely. So someone has made an AI, mm-hmm. then the AI created itself a better version, and it is actually mind blowing of the videos you can make. So it's like someone could just type in two dogs doing a podcast on a mountain, and there are two dogs like perfect 4K in detail dogs having a podcast in a mountain, or That's it's like terrifying. or it's like lady uh, on the tube in Japan filming. And I'm like, holy shit, this is not a real video. This yeah. is designed by a computer and it's the most flawless thing I've ever seen. Do you think they'll take over? AI? Yeah. Yeah, I think it has to. Unless something, unless someone like Elon Musk stops it. Because, you know, he started a thing saying AI's got to be like uh, contained. Yeah. Otherwise... Fucking hell, imagine there's just an outbreak and we're just yeah. fighting AI. Because it wouldn't be like, you could literally type in Lloyd and Matt podcast with this topic and then it does the video for us how bonkers That's fucking terrible <laughs> yeah didn't quebble cop do a yeah, he did a fully he, ai video yeah i think he did a full ai video. full ai voiceover and gameplay but the thing is it's 2024 and it's only getting scarier and scarier imagine this 2030 like the best looking people will all just be ai 
And it's like, if you wanted to watch an Arnold Schwarzenegger film, it, you could just type in Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was 30 or 40, when he's like in his prime. Yeah. Like... And it would generate it for me. Mental. It is terrifying. It's terrifying. I've been yapping a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> I was You're like, no editing for you. <laughs> You're just like, just yes. Your face for six <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you're passionate about it though yeah it's it's, cra- it's, it's wild it mm. is wild but yeah I think I would start a political party yeah <laughs> a Dune 2 premiere <laughs> sorry that's wrong <laughs> Dune 2 did you enjoy it yeah it was great mm, yeah I recommend watching the film <laughs> yeah on the biggest good. screen possible don't wait for it to stream oh, like he's talking about don't sit at home it's true don't wait eight months it's go true. to the fucking cinema get yeah. off your lazy bum <laughs> sit in a pitch black room with other people and soak it in and feel like you're actually yeah. in the sand and like watch what I did and what you did as well when we were in the IMAX is you had the screen and then just underneath it you put subway servers yeah. on <laughs> GTA <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> but Imagine they had to do that with films. Oh my god. That I would that would be the end of it, I reckon. I, I wouldn't want to live here like be alive anymore. I am surprised that film uh, cuz I thought after covid it was done. Done. But it's coming back thankfully. Just yeah, go to the cinema. Like the thing is, it, it, I think it's doing better. I mean, I actually don't know, but I think it's doing better now than it was before covid. Because before covid, we went to a lot of films unless it was just the one in Oxford. No, we didn't. That was post covid. What like? Oh, we was didn't it? go to James Bond until James Bond was twenty twenty one. What the hell? <laughs> what? I've been to the cinema fifty four times in the last two and a half years. What? That was before. Maybe that was no, after no. COVID. But that was like we went into a bar before and it was like packed and there was no mask either. Yeah, we didn't was, need a mask for James Bond, did we? No, that was October twenty twenty one. And that it was, was Guion's birthday. That was a packed cinema. Yeah, full. We yeah. were sat like the third row from the front, which we never did. But yeah, um, it is so true though. If if you want to see a thriving high street, cinemas being made, you've got to actually go and do it. Cinemas being Shit. made. Shit, movies being made. Just go and watch Dune. Just go, if you like the first one, yeah. if you watched it on streaming or if you watched it in the cinema, the first one, you the second one's better. Yeah, the second one was It better. really is better. Yeah. It's amazing how it looks so real. What do you think of the red carpet? It was a bit... I know what I thought it was. Yeah, I was a bit taken back as well. Like, I didn't know what to do. No, neither. I was a bit like... <laughs> Basically, we got there. It was in Leicester Square. What do you mean? The red carpet. Leicester. Leicester. It was in Leicester Square. And we had to go and... We went into a random kitchen of a hotel. Swanky. <laughs> got our bands. Not bands. money. <laughs> and then we went to... In the social media entrance... <laughs> And we just walked the red carpet, but not like the main bit where the actors were and stuff. It was just like we were shepherd, yeah, shepherded did, around like it, the outside, kind of rushed through. Not like anyone cared that we were there. So I'm not, No, it's not like we needed to be pranced around. But it was like head down, really scared, like walk past yeah. everyone. Like, oh, I was why bit, are they there? I was a bit like, oh my God. I wish we arrived later when everyone asked us. Yeah, them. yeah. Like, cause we or got, just went behind someone super big. Yeah. Just yeah. So be like, yeah. like no be attention. their chaperone. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just walked around, went on a, well, went on the red carpet, got our picture taken. And then start, we were just trying to watch for a bit near the sand to see the actors come in and they were mm. like, guys, you have to move on. Like, just go <laughs> in. So we just went into a city world and watched it. I mean, it was a great day. Mm. It was a great day. It was good fun. I don't know what I was expecting, but. I was expecting like just an overflow of lights and I was like, guys, <laughs> stop it. Like I was your, be your bodyguard. Like, guys, he's a human. <laughs> it was good fun though. It was. I would do it again. I'd do it a million times over. What was more fun, that or the Top Gun Maverick screen and we went through? That. Yeah. I like getting dressed up. There's something I hate about- wearing the suit. Do you? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't feel comfortable. What? I just love wearing streetwear. What? No, there's something about wearing a suit where you're just you just feel like more confident. Yeah, like powerful. Like I could go <laughs> <laughs> Big yawn for night. I don't know why I'm so tired. Yeah. Go on, get ahead in the game. It is fucking miserable today as well. Oh. It's so hard to film when you look outside and it's just like this. In the summer we were so 
pumped yeah all the time and it's like, just it, beautiful in november as well it was still really really sunny and this time last year like i see on my memories we went for a bike ride yeah blue clouds blue clouds <laughs> <laughs> blue sky every single day yeah and we used to cycle around yeah and now it's just fucking miserable yeah but that ain't gonna stop us from the vibe of the pod <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about ai yeah, but I'm 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 still I'm really excited today. I don't know why. Yeah, what are you excited for? Interstellar. Yes, we're watching Interstellar tonight in the cinema. Don't let me leave, Merv. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! I've been practicing my uh, like because I said we'll do a don't a try not to cringe on our second account. Yes, yeah, so you've been practicing. So in the shower last night, I was actually like creasing at myself <laughs> at the shit I was doing in the shower I was like holy god holy god holy god, holy god. Uh, I was I was actually like I wrote them all down in my notes yeah I'm excited to do it I think we should do it with a group of we should do it with like at least three or four people we should do it like a talent show yeah you know in the basement yard do the poetry <laughs> clicking poetry we should do poetry try stuff. not to cringe with everyone though <laughs> yeah I'm down for that fuck that'd be so funny we're gonna start uploading way more on our second account as well it's doing alright yeah Yeah, so we got like 2k followers out, yeah. out of the blue yeah out of the blue we repost every video <laughs> 20 words or less challenge let's go wiggly Jason Derulo <laughs> hose pipe Drake <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit <laughs> Wiggly Anita Max Wien <laughs> Okay Controversial Kanye West Yes Spits Slow tie Weird Young blood <laughs> <laughs> Okay How many words have I used? How many? Yeah, uh, I said duh, 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 five. And we've guessed three. Yeah. How many is it? Seven. Okay. Okay. This one's a bit harder. <clears throat> Seaside. The Kooks. Yes. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> my, my second word was Nibby Don. <laughs> yeah, that's one word. Now good. Nibby Don. Don't just smile in your you're so annoying. <laughs> okay. Slay. Can you get this? Sam Smith. <laughs> nah, that would have been a block of pork. <laughs> One word. <laughs> block of pork. <laughs> okay, second word. Or eighth word. Travis. Yes? You're about to say it. I could see your lips, those luscious lips move in the direction. You can't just say his name. That's not his name. That's not the singer's name. Okay. Wait, what was the first word? Slay. Slay. Travis. Come on. Travis. You, you, you're about to do it. Like, I could see your lips do it. Slay. <laughs> <laughs> Slay. Travis. Yes. Lil Nas X. What the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey. Taylor Swift. Bingo. <laughs> okay. Pitch. Usher. Super Bowl, isn't it? He was on the pitch. <laughs> Tiny. Tiny. I think you're thinking of pitch as like a football pitch. No, I'm thinking of yeah, their yeah, pitch. Yeah, yeah. Vocal yeah. pitch. And they're tiny. Mm -hmm. Ice JJ fish. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Home wrecker. Ariana Grande. Yes, yes. <laughs> Saturday. Vance Joy. Why would it be Vance Joy? <laughs> oh, Saturday, son. Oh. I met someone. You should say he released it on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen. The week. <laughs> <laughs> the weekend. The weekend. That was it. Done. Perfect. That was class. What do you swear you saw but don't have any proof of? Oh, okay. I slipped on icy stairs last winter and I swear I saw my own butt crack as I fell. <laughs> <laughs> no one believes me. 
That's not even scientifically possible. How would you see it? Yeah, maybe it was in the reflection of the ice. (laughs) (laughs) I I imagine him trying to prove that to his mate. Yeah, I fell and I saw my own butt (laughs) Imagine that screenshot in his head, though, of him falling. He can just see his own cheeks. (laughs) So good. This is something I saw when I was little. Yeah. So I used to go bowling at an RAF base. Mm Mm-hmm. And I swear to God, no one believes me. There was 12 lanes and we went bowling in the 12th lane. And every week, every weekend we went, the other 11 lanes was filled with people with Down syndrome. Every single one of them. And I thought, every week, am I one of them? Did you go at the same time as like a trip? Well, it must have been, but it was just like a Sunday morning. And there was all of the lanes were filled with people with Down syndrome. And you stole the last lane (laughs) from them. So they had to wait. (laughs) When I was five, I woke up from my sleep and saw a man sitting on the stairs watching me. I wasn't scared though. There was something tranquil about it. I just watched him and he watched me for what seemed like 10 minutes. 10 minutes is a long time. Then all of a sudden he was gone. (gasps) A few days later, I found out my dad was killed in Europe. I lived in Canada and my parents were separated. There's pictures of me with him when I was just born, but he left shortly after that. To this day, that is the only memory I have of my dad. A ghost watching over me. I don't believe in ghosts, but I know what I saw. I've never told anyone except my mum. This is, that's when You're me, crying. That's You're when literally crying. crying. Bro, I got goosies. With tears. That's crazy. I can feel it down the You're side. You're literally crying. Oh, holy shit. That, that's, that has triggered something inside me. Oh, jeez. It has literally <laughs> fucking something's coming up. What the fuck was that sound? <laughs> that's terrifying. I think that that's was like one. when Did that was that, that was like when I saw a woman with a wheel in my bedroom on a sh- as a shadow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A fat squirrel in a tree threw a piece of fried chicken at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's never getting proven. No, how are you going to prove that? He hey, launched I... it at you and aimed for you as well. <laughs> do squirrels have hands? Yeah, of course they do. They go... Uh, no, that's an Italian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Italian squirrels, squirrel. squirrels purr like cats. How wholesome is that? Purr. purr. Not my story, but my brother's. He lost his wallet and was retracing his steps looking for it. A homeless man approached him at a coffee shop and said to him, Don't worry, it's in the bathroom sink. Your wallet is in your bathroom sink. Later that night, he did indeed find his wallet at home in his bathroom sink. A few days later, he saw the homeless man and thanked him for his help. The guy became really irritated and told my brother he'd never seen him before. Could have been a lucky guess, but I think magical bum makes for a better story. What? How did the homeless man know that his wallet, the other guy's wallet, was in his own house yeah. in the sink? Oh. And then acted like he never saw him. Goosey's part two. <laughs> yeah. That's like um, a weird one. So my dad has a picture of my mum in his wallet. Mm, that's uh, not weird. Like a part, <laughs> so weird. <laughs> and uh, he was on a bus in New York, and he took this bus to and from his work uh, every morning. Yeah. And then one afternoon, uh, he was just sat down on the bus, and there was a bit of paper like by his foot, and it was just like one of those pieces of paper where you're just like, oh, that looks like a passport photo. And he picks it up and it's a picture of my mum on the floor. And he was like, hold on, like, what? Why is a picture of my wife on the tube? And he looked at his wallet and he hadn't had that picture for like a week. So he must have been on the exact same bus he lost it on. Yeah. And he found it and he was like... Under his feet. And he still got it. That's fucking nuts. Weird. That's crazy. Heebie jeebies. What type of people do you refuse to trust? What type of people do you refuse to trust? What type of people do you refuse to trust? Yeah, I kind of get a beat out of that. People who comment on TikTok saying, so-and-so here. Doctor here. Yeah, so if someone makes a video going, oh my God, like my arm (laughs) over. Doctor here, Uh, actually we don't do this. (laughs) Or it'll be like, in brackets, I'm not a doctor. Yeah, no, that's when it's funny. But there's people who dead ass write like paragraphs and like part one out of three and then reply to themselves. So icky. Microwave user here. (laughs) (laughs) If you drive a Fiat 500. You won't trust them. I ain't trusting that. Especially if you're a bloke driving it. Yeah, that is actually illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
No disrespect. This is well known. Total disrespect. You drive a Fiat 500. <laughs> you're a hairdresser. Ooh, and an Audi TT. Yeah. People who wear three quarter length trousers. <sighs> they should be outlawed in certain parts. They should be banished from thy kingdom. Especially if they're chrome. <laughs> chrome three quarter lengths. I think someone should... Do you reckon this is a thing? Three quarter length flares? <laughs> it just goes like down past the knee. <laughs> like a shrunken dress. People that use red milk with their cereals. Yeah. What is, which one is red? High sugar, low fat. Yeah. Sticky wicky. It's got to be green. Blue. Green. Blue. People who currently own Velcro shoes. Yeah, who the fuck? <laughs> what? That is a <laughs> learn to do laces. <laughs> In a way, I'm going for a run again. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a girl and you wear a full Nike Tech tracksuit, <laughs> oh. I know you're concealing something down there. People who chew their food loudly. I've got that. Yeah. Anyone who's. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no need for it. Oh, especially when the dish is wet. And it's like, you did that yesterday, but we'll be, but <laughs> shut up. You were eating chilies from a chili con carne like this. <laughs> okay. Receptionists. You don't trust receptionists? Not one bit. They're the most helpful people in the world. <laughs> oh, not over the phone. They're not. Not over the phone. But when you walk into somewhere and you go, oh, I'm here for the, they're just like, yeah, because I can do that. I could do that. I could do that. I'm not saying you couldn't. Thanks. I'm just saying they're helpful. Over the phone, if you're one of those operative receptionists, get out of here. <laughs> you, I don't like you. <laughs> I'm sure they're so upset. Cute or cringe? Using the baby voice. Oh, that is in private. Me want some cuddles tonight. That is <laughs> <laughs> That's cringe. Okay, in Everyone private. does it though, Colin. Everyone does it. Everyone does it. Do you remember last night? You rocked up to my door. Mm. <laughs> the big boy's home. <laughs> when you dinner with you? <laughs> well, about in public. Yeah, if you're doing a baby voice in public. <laughs> I want me with you. <laughs> Having an Insta highlighter dedicated to each other. Uh, cringe. Yeah. Cute. No. Cringe. No. Cute. Cringy. Okay. <laughs> Why? It just is like, I love you so much. I love you so... Just fucking tell them. <laughs> yeah. You don't need it on their Insta. <laughs> this is... You mean the world to me. <laughs> Text him it. <laughs> <laughs> Call him. <laughs> I bet you've never told him that either. No. <laughs> <laughs> Calling her a food name. Like chocolate, honeycomb, oh. apple. Well, I've got this down here on mine. Yeah. My mum calls me <laughs> chocolate pudding. <laughs> Doesn't one of your friends call you pumpkin as well? No. Pumpkin! <laughs> My friend does not call me pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> cute or cringe? I don't know. It's actually so cute when my mum says it. It depends what it is though. Yeah, it's like when my mum's like, can I eat chocolate pudding? <laughs> I'm like, mum! But then, yeah, good morning, jawbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> butterfly kisses in public what's a butterfly kiss oh my <laughs> <laughs> I would if if a significant other was doing that to me I would go are you okay like, are you having a fit no but we do that in Morse code in public <laughs> <laughs> we go up to each other <laughs> just a tunnel so no one else can get into it and then you're like yes I want the cheese <laughs> <laughs> Play fighting in public. <sighs> in public, that's cringe. Yeah. And that's really like, I'm happy for you too. I just don't want to look at you. No, and people would, might think it's real. Yeah. If you're <laughs> <laughs> That's not play fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Things guys do when they like you, red or green flag edition. Hit me with it. When you go on a night out and the guy asks, can you turn your location on? I just want to make sure you're safe. I think that's green if you're in a trusting relationship, like if you're in a, like a normal relationship. No, but it's not. You'll get, you'll, you'll do it like you're getting into a relationship. Getting into it. That could be taken as I don't trust you. Mm. I think it's, personally, I think it's a red flag. Really? Yeah, it's like, oh, you're, I'm a little bit insecure and I want to make sure you don't get home to a guy's house. 
Okay, so when your ro- when your partner's reported missing and you never asked for their location, she's been cheating. <laughs> He's been cheating. <laughs> okay, sleeping on Facetime. Green, yeah, green, yeah. It is adorable. It is adorable. But I think it. But I think girls see it as like the cutest thing in the world, and guys just see it as you just stayed on the phone. Yeah, you just accidentally fell asleep. Yeah, like it's like a. a, a I think it's a huge deal to women. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do it actually. Now that I think about it. So is that already? Yeah, maybe that's already because that girls could fall in love with you over just by sleeping on Facetime. Yeah, hearing you snooze. <laughs> I talk so much in my sleep, so you red. Do. Red, red. I went in your room the other night and you were like, Guion, stop! <laughs> and Guion was just there as well. <laughs> Play fighting. In public? In private and in public. Public red, private green. Ooh, okay. Depends what we're doing. If we're like bouncing each other off the ropes like WWE and <laughs> spine bustering each other, that's probably red. But if it's like a little playful, like. <laughs> what was that? Ang- what? My angry face. No. <sighs> <laughs> what if it's like I think play fighting is cute but I th- feel like sometimes you can get really into it and I'm gonna get you <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just you <laughs> so have you ever been clapped up the stairs yeah yeah on all fours oh my wait God. That, no, that pause pause <laughs> pause pause that sentence is outrageous <laughs> no that means chased up the stairs while someone's like clapping running after you <laughs> <laughs> what do you want him to comment? I spice sugar plum latte. No, stop giving them <laughs> such hard things to no, comment. You're gonna comment slipper. Yep. Grey well, slipper. Grey slipper. Yes. Uh, like the video. Comment. Grey slipper. Subscribe. Notifications on. Five stars on Spotify. Follow us on Instagram. Lloyd Butcher, Matthew Mersey underscore Lloyd and Matt. Ooh. Follow our new TikTok. More Lloyd and Matt for new stuff. And we'll see you in episode 47. Arigato, Saru. Ha 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 ha!